Well, most feel a tug. They just shrug. I speak of people who feel no sexual attraction to others. A new book argues that asexuals, an estimated 1% of the population, should be recognized as a fourth sexual orientation, or FSO for short, with the author calling them an understudied group who can feel very excluded from our, quote, very sexualized culture. And indeed it is. Said one fan of neither woman nor man, quote, we want asexuality to be recognized as a valid sexual orientation rather than a disorder or something people have to hide. So let's discuss this in the, shall we? Lightning round. Lightning round. Brooke, do you buy this orientation? Asexuals? Are they I, an under... I buy it. Oh, you do? Asexuality has been around for a very long time. Mm -hmm. It's called being a woman every three and a half weeks. Oh. It's a wonderful <laughs> excuse to get out of obligations. Come on. Um, I, I, I feel really bad for this poor 23-year-old who actually went and did the interview who admitted that he doesn't objectify women, so they classified him as being asexual. I mean, mm -hmm. that's the whole problem with the study. They went around to a bunch of men and they didn't want to, you know, have sex 10 times a day, all of a sudden they're asexual. So you think that, that actually these people were just normal? Absolutely. Or they were under normal it. in an uber-sexualized society, so we've had to invent this asexuality. I just Whoa. can't believe the interviewer bought that I was 23. <laughs> 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 Jamie, could it be they're exaggerating uh, asexuality, the numbers, like everybody does? Remember we were told that this, port, this population was this big and then it wasn't really this big? I'm talking about pixies. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I don't think academics ever exaggerate anything. No. Yeah, always <laughs> yes. uh, no, there was, I think, a, a show about asexuals, uh, or at least a segment on Saturday Night Live called Pat. Yes. Uh, so I think they've been represented to some degree. But it is kind of something, have you ever, I mean, if you've been on college, when I was on a college campus, I remember there was the, the lesbian, gay, like bisexual, transgender, and then questioning, they keep adding like different yeah, letters. Yeah. It does seem like we're going to be keep adding different letters with this. But one. I think that they won't be long on that one because they have a lack of a sort of sexual, uh, of sexuality. So they'll be kind of like treated as lepers, if you will, uh, asexual lepers, uh, Dan. Fact is, though, in high school, you knew somebody like this, didn't you? And if you didn't know somebody like this, it was you. Whoa, I don't know. Why are you, why are you cornering me like that? I don't know. I think it's when they say that they want to be represented, what do you want? Just, like, the most boring beer commercials ever? <laughs> Just like a guy that's like, beer! That's it. No chicks in bikinis. That, but that's the point. Is, okay, is this, if this is the beginning, Bill, of asexual rights, how... Like, what are they, what kind of discrimination will they be fighting against? How are they discriminated against to begin That's with? What, they, get, they can focus on more things, get more done, yeah. not have to worry about a myriad of things that you sexual people have to worry about. <laughs> uh, I think that the problem with this is that it's 1%. And can we, like, after a while, just stop recognizing things? Like, if it's that small portion of the population, like, do I have to recognize you? Like, well, recognize me because I wear sock monkey hats. Okay, there's a couple people that wear sock monkey hats. I don't need to recognize you. Yes, you exist. Move on. What do you have against sock monkeys? Yeah. I've been to Williamsburg way too many times this weekend. <laughs> I'm done with it. That'll happen. No, when somebody wants to be recognized, you got to wonder, what do they want? And then you have to ask yourself, well, what are they not getting? Well, we know asexual <laughs> people don't want sex. Yes. yes. So that's what we know they're not after. Exactly. So they want something else. Yeah. I don't, I don't trust them I one don't bit. I don't trust it at all. <laughs>